So, it's been a long, hot, sweaty day, and now I'm just in the break room chilling, the air works, so I'm just relaxing. Uh, eating lunch, I had a few minutes, so I thought I would turn the camera on and kick it with you for a minute. Uh, earlier today, Asia and I were talking about social media, uh, more specifically people who need attention on social media you know everybody seems to want to get their they likes up on Facebook or more followers on Instagram or more snappies or whatever the fuck they call them on snapchat like I don't have a snapchat so I don't care uh, I am not interested in being internet famous I'm not interested in having a tweet or a post on Facebook go viral I'm, I'm not interested in what I like to call cheap pops, like reaction videos. Asia and I tried our hand at reaction videos once. So you remember last year I made a big fuss, hey, we're going to come back to YouTube. We're going to do reaction videos. And we started doing reaction videos, and it was working. But it just felt void of any real content. So I decided against it. I've got videos that's got like 20,000 views on it because it's a reaction video. But I decided against that. Not interested in that. Like, it's cheap heat. It's a cheap pop. You know, not interested. This channel here, I believe we've got 16, 17 subscribers. It's not a big deal. And my videos are chocked full of fucking content. And when I say content, like, I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to put on a show. I'm not here to tell a story. This is my life. Like, every day, this is my life. Like, what do you think I'm doing? I'm just, I'm in the break room and I record 20 videos and then one by one I put them out for the sake of saying this is really, no, every day, this is my life. It happens that I wear this a lot because I'm at work, but this is my life. Like, Everything I give you is 100% me. Thoughts, hopes, dreams, fears, concerns, everything. I pour myself into these videos. And I'm not really interested in having 100,000 views per video. There are families that do vlogs and people follow them around and it's like oh I'm so glad to see you know you went to Target and you took back a car seat oh my god what an amazing video that was but it says nothing to the substance of the person you know like this is me with my heart on my sleeve concerned about work wanting to make sure Asia's happy preparing for my sister to come in town and visit Preparing for Kari's girlfriend to come back in town and visit. You know, plotting on what my next move will be if this job doesn't come through. Having an anxiety attack. Talking about my hopes and fears. Like, there's some stuff here. Like, this is liter this is me. In a nutshell. Like, nothing to hide. Here I am. It's me. And... Sometimes we get some views, sometimes we don't, but that's not why we're here, which is the beauty of it. Like, last night, I was uh, picking through old videos, because I do that from time to time. Notified for from my flight flight out. Out. So, yeah, I'm picking through old videos, and it's really interesting to see how my life is different than... Like the things that were on our mind, the things we were dealing with. And honestly, some of it was small, and it's like it was easy to forget about. But that's the beauty of these videos is that now I can go back and I can see them. Ah. Digital age is something, man. Like, I would love to be able to go back and watch videos from, say, my childhood. You know where eight-year-old me is talking about the like the girl he likes and he can't believe that she doesn't like him back, that kind of shit. Like, it would be amazing to be able to go back. It's a window to the past to go, this is what I used to be like. You know? These only go back 
from the beginning of 2015, 2016, 2016. We started January 1st, 2016, and like almost a thousand videos later. Think about that. A thousand videos later, who am I opposed to who I was? Like, that's a big deal to me. I, I really, truly enjoy these for what they are. And if it only get a couple of views, that's fine. If it get a bunch of views, that's fine. Between me and you, hey. I would love for this channel to get a little more attention, but that's not why I'm here. Like, I love being able to go back and just see what's on my wife's mind six months ago. You know, where my mind was, where my, I, I come up with a plan. And then after the fact, I can go back and I can see where I had to deviate from the plan to get it done. Or I can see step by step how the plan took shape. Like it's a wonderful thing. It's a it's a fantastic tool to have at your disposal to be able to go back. It's like conversations with myself. It's I recommend this to everybody. I feel like this is the sort of thing everyone should be doing. But not everybody has the you know I don't want to say the nuts, the the nerve, the courage. Uh, the, the foresight to say it's important to have documented every step of my journey. Some steps are more entertaining than others, granted, but you don't know what moment's going to be a big moment until the moment goes down. You know, I can look back at some of my older videos and I remember, ah, oh, that, that's not, it wasn't really a big deal. But at the time, it wasn't. It is now. Like, there are little things. You know, like, you don't know the big moments. The big moments elude you until the big moment comes and goes. And you go, wow, that was a moment. And I'm happy to be able to be able to go back and look at those. And, you know, not only share with myself as a reference, but share it with you. Like, this is my life. I'm opening up my soul. I, I'm, I'm bare everything here. Every time. I don't hold back. I don't keep it to myself. I'm not keeping secrets. I'm not lying to you. I'm not fudging the facts for the sake of entertainment. This is my life. You know, I take blood pressure medication because I'm fat you know, and I got high blood pressure. You know, I, just, I have hopes and concerns and doubts and I share them here all the time. That's that's something. I'm very happy to have this as a tool to come back to. I'm very happy that this is a thing. Like, I've only got, like, 60 friends on Facebook, and I'm not really interested in having, like, a bunch of them and everybody liking my statuses. I, My Facebook is for me. My Facebook is, there's something on my mind. I want to convey it. That's it. You know, uh, Instagram is really just for memes at this point. Like, that's all I do. I don't have a Snapchat. I've got a Twitter, but I don't post on it, but it automatically posts every time I do a video. So, there's that. Um, I don't even know any of the other social media apps. I'm not interested. You know, I just, I just wanted an outlet to speak my mind, to clear my head and clear my thoughts and to try to gain perspective on where I was and where I am so I know where I'm going. I don't need Instagram likes for that. I don't need followers for that. I don't I don't need hearts or, you know, whatever it is you people are trying to accumulate to be popular. I'm not interested. If it comes, it comes. But it's got to come on my own merits, you know. I'm not going to put on a funny hat and dance around. I'm not going to do ice bucket challenges. I'm not going to, you know, create something you know, oh, look, I slipped and fell. Everybody laugh at me, ha, 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 to get likes. Fuck that. I'm not interested in that. If you like me, like me for who I am. If you don't, don't. But at the end of the day, this is still a fantastic tool for me to be able to come back and look at and go, wow, I was real different then. Because I think every year, you know, you should be able to look back and say, I've grown enough as, the per as a person to say, I'm not that person anymore. And certainly the person who I was on December 31st, 
2015. I'm not that guy now. It's May 3rd, 2017. That's not me anymore. But if you want to see how that guy turned into this guy, just follow the steps.